What a well watch on the big fish, Ash Burton. Yes, Labor Day Monday. It's Ash Burton flying stakes. Very keen on one. It's not open favourite. I reckon it'll go close. Let's highlight it next on WW. Outstanding day of harness racing at Ashburton on Monday. Super Fields 10 race program first starting at 12.27. First highlighted video for you to get involved in goes around to race number five. It's a trotter we haven't seen for an awful long time and the last time it was on this track at Ashburton was as a three-year-old. Now this is the Group 3 Hamiltonian. This is a really good three-year-old field. The likes of Cheerful in this race, you can see you really got me with a red breastplate just getting one off the mark of pegs now. Goes a cracking race to run fifth in a Group 3 now they put him away, he's strengthened up he's now a 4 year old, he's had a couple of workouts I like the last of them and I thought he's in the right race, race 5, number 9 you really got me, I think as a 3 year old he was a little bit weak, I think as a 4 year old now he's strengthened up Main Danger is another chapter and a very impressive first up winner in Idol Stewart here let's go to the Ashburton Flying Stakes and a horse that was beaten for the first time last week was self assured but gee it had merit in its run, this is a serious race horse and let's go back 7 days and have a look at its last run in behind ultimate sniper in the trail fresh up for an awful long time and bangs up the passing lane in a 55 last half to get beaten half ahead thought it was a really good run he hadn't raced since the beginning of July had a long time off the scene and this was his first up go against the real New Zealand Cup contenders, I thought it was a super run, race 8 too, self assured to go one spot better the main danger is obviously the New Zealand Cup favourite in Spankham and the winner of this race in Ultimate Sniper, but I think the $3.20 the bookmakers are giving you now for self assured is a nice price let's go to the last and what I think is the best bet of the day at Ashburton. A horse that came from a mile back last week was above and beyond. Let's go back again seven days to Addington on a very wet track where a day they weren't making ground. This was a leaders dominated race. In front Aquasancta up the passing lane Taxman and you can see the horse just angling outside uh, Blair Orange and Ken Barron's runner. That's above and beyond. Now he smokes home here in the last quarter and made up good ground on two serious race horses. Of course he was a winner prior to that defeating Skippy's Delight in a good field at Addington. I think he's in the right race with the right draw and the right driver. He ticks the boxes. Race 10, number 6 above and beyond. The main danger very keen on Jazzy Star is the Quinella of the day in the last at Ashburton. Let's have a look at you. Uh, let's have a look at, for you, three of the best on a great day of harness racing, starting with the multi-maker in race 5. It's 9, you really got me. The best bet, or one of the best bets, goes round in race 8. The main race of the day in 2, self-assured. And in the last, number 6, above and beyond.